Thank you, Josh. Governor, this winter we may have a coming crisis for a lot of pocketbooks for New Hampshire uh, families. We're talking about energy prices. We've seen a number of companies already increasing their rates, particularly for electricity, by double. The problem appears to be there's less supply. There's coal-fired power plants and Vermont Yankee, as you know, soon going offline. We can't seem to find a way to bring cheap natural gas into the state. What is your plan to help New Hampshire families? Well, thank you, James, for the question. Thanks also to St. A's and MUR and our sponsors tonight and all of you for being here and everybody watching. Um, and thank you, uh, Mr. Havenstein, for joining us in this debate. Um, energy costs in New England and New Hampshire have been a longstanding challenge. And since entering office, I've worked to particularly focus with the other New England governors in particular on getting more natural gas supply up to this part of the country. Uh, we came together to encourage that kind of focus. I'm really pleased that the private sector now has two specific proposals to bring additional natural gas capacity uh, to this region, and that's very encouraging. In the meantime, we also have issued our energy strategy, the first energy strategy that the state has issued in about a decade, and that also focuses not only on on gas capacity, but on energy efficiency, on more small-scale clean energy, and on a more flexible and reliable grid. Thank you very much. Mr. Havenstein, if you're elected when you're inaugurated on day one, you may be having to deal with this. So what can you do to reassure New Hampshire families that their prices will not be going up? Well, I don't know that you can reassure, reassure the citizens of New Hampshire that their prices won't be going up, or the business community that their prices won't be going up. The fact of the matter is, for the last decade, and certainly the last two years, we've heard a lot of talk and zero action, no action. We've known for a decade that Yankee Nuclear was going to go offline. We've done nothing about it. We've talked about gas expansion, natural gas expansion, and it's dragged and it's dragged. We have propane as a significant element of our energy here in the state, and we haven't increased the capacity for propane in its distribution. What the people are looking for, frankly, is not a strategy. They're looking for action. Strategies are fine if they're followed by actions, but this governor has not followed through. No action. And for that reason, frankly, she has not earned a second term. One uh, controversial proposal that's been brought up obviously centers on the Northern Pass project to bring hydroelectric power down from Canada. Governor, where do you stand on this? I oppose the Northern Pass project as it has been proposed. I sent the company back to the drawing board, told them they needed to communicate more with our local communities so we can make sure that if such a project comes, we uh, protect our natural places as well as our economy and make sure there's something in the agreement in any uh, supply for New Hampshire. And I've also encouraged them to underground more of the lines. But what the action that we have taken, of course, is getting uh, the private sector to now come forward with two specific proposals to increase natural gas capacity, which is very encouraging and shows some real promise. Mr. Havenstein, where are you when it comes to Northern Pass? I oppose uh, Northern Pass. I oppose the uh, project that's currently proposed. It is not a balanced New Hampshire solution. But it's also important to understand that we do need hydroelectric power. It is the lowest cost base electricity for our state. We have to get it into the state. We have to do it in a New Hampshire balanced way that first and foremost drives our rates down. It doesn't do us any good to add capacity if it's not driving our rates down.